Mastering Service Design Thinking Your NPS score is a lie if you're not tracking these metrics. When we are striving for operational excellence in our service design, what are the primary operational metrics that our organization employs to measure net promoter score NPS, and how do we leverage these metrics to systematically drive continuous improvement and optimize our services? To achieve operational excellence in service design, our organization employs a range of primary operational metrics to measure net promoter score NPS, and drive continuous improvement. The primary metrics used to measure NPS include 1. Net Promoter Score NPS. This metric measures customer loyalty by asking one simple question, on a scale of 0 to 10, how likely are you to recommend our service to a friend or colleague? The responses are categorized into three groups, detractors, 0 to 6, passives, 7 to 8, and promoters, 9 to 10. The NPS score is calculated by subtracting the percentage of detractors from the percentage of promoters. 2. Customer Satisfaction CSAT. This metric measures customer satisfaction with specific aspects of our service, such as the quality of support, ease of use, or timeliness of resolution. CSAT is typically measured through surveys or feedback forms, with respondents rating their satisfaction on a scale, e.g., 1 to 5. 3. First Contact Resolution FCR. This metric measures the percentage of customer issues resolved on the first contact with our support team. FCR is a key indicator of our ability to provide swift and effective solutions to customer problems. 4. Mean Time to Resolve MTTR. This metric measures the average time taken to resolve customer issues. MTTR helps us identify areas where our support processes can be optimized to reduce resolution times. 5. Mean Time Between Failures MTBF. This metric measures the average time between failures or errors in our service. MTBF helps us identify opportunities to improve service reliability and reduce downtime. 6. Defect Density this metric measures the number of defects or errors per unit of service output, e.g., per customer interaction. Defect density helps us identify areas where our processes can be improved to reduce errors. To leverage these metrics and drive continuous improvement, our organization employs a systematic approach. 1. Establish clear goals and targets. We set specific, measurable targets for each of these metrics, aligned with our overall business objectives. These targets serve as a benchmark for our performance and guide our improvement initiatives. 2. Data Collection and Analysis We collect data on each of these metrics through various channels, including customer surveys, feedback forms, and system logs. Our analytics team analyzes this data to identify trends, patterns, and areas for improvement. 3. Root Cause Analysis when deviations from target metrics are identified, we conduct root cause analyses to determine the underlying causes of these issues. This involves collaborating with cross-functional teams to gather insights and identify opportunities for process improvement. 4. Improvement Initiative Development Based on the findings from the root cause analysis, we develop targeted improvement initiatives aimed at addressing the identified issues. These initiatives may involve process changes, training programs, or technology enhancements. 5. Pilot Testing and Iteration We pilot test these improvement initiatives on a small scale to validate their effectiveness and gather feedback from customers and stakeholders. The insights gathered from these pilots inform further refinements and iterations. 6. Implementation and Rollout Once an improvement initiative is deemed effective, we implement it across our service operations, ensuring that all relevant teams and stakeholders are trained and equipped to support the changes. 7. Ongoing Monitoring and Evaluation We continuously monitor and evaluate the performance of our service operations, using the primary operational metrics to track progress and identify areas for further improvement. 8. Feedback Loop and Continuous Learning we foster a culture of continuous learning, soliciting feedback from customers, employees, and stakeholders to identify opportunities for improvement and drive innovation. By employing this systematic approach, 
our organization is able to leverage the primary operational metrics to drive continuous improvement and optimize our services, resulting in enhanced customer experiences, increased loyalty, and improved operational efficiency.